Since the United States' founding, our country has been tainted by the scarlet letter, the Adam and Eve original sin of racism. It's everywhere. It's ingrained in our founding documents and even the very songs we sing. I am, of course, referring to the visceral, institutionalized hatred in our country's past against lizards and other reptilian Americans. It goes without saying that I am grateful to live in a time where I will not be judged based on the color of my skin or that I have no skin at all, at least until recently. I owe a lot to the great leaders of our past who fought for reptilian rights against mammalian bigotry so we could live in peace and harmony. But let's call a spade a spade. American history hasn't been perfect. The Declaration of Independence has this infamous line, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Except for those damn scalies. Seriously, f*** them. And the preamble of the United States Constitution. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, and promote general welfare, secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. For men only. No girls allowed. They're yucky. Also, no lizards, I guess. Whatever. I like to think we've moved past these base phobias, but whenever I hear the Star-Spangled Banner, I am reminded of America's checkered history with reptilian Americans such as myself. Specifically, this line right here. Their blood has washed out their foul footsteps pollution. No refuge could save the hireling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. Oh my god! Hirelings and slaves? They're clearly referring to that one time a lizard got enslaved. Maybe. To escape its enslavement, the lizard joined the British army in the War of 1812 against the Americans to fight for his freedom. I mean, obviously. This song is racist and extremely offensive to every reptile. Do you hear that, Colin Kaepernick? This horned dragon died because you kneeled in submission to honor this racist song. Great work, douchebag. But wait, that line doesn't reference reptiles specifically. Yes, it does! Nobody in the United States was ever a slave except for reptiles. I mean, reptile. Singular. That's not true. SHUT! Also, why does the whole song need to be banned? That line's only in the third verse, which, like, nobody ever hears. Doesn't matter. It's tainted, and it means the whole song is racist. That's how this works. It's like if there's one Skittle in a bowl of M&Ms, you gotta throw the whole bowl out. It's tainted. Congress made the Star-Spangled Banner the national anthem in 1931. Every moment this song is still the national anthem, Congress is literally murdering lizards. Ban the Star-Spangled Banner. Ban it right now. I'm calling on the priesthood of statism to ban all the things that are offensive to reptiles and our communities according to what I and I alone deem to be offensive. If you disagree with me, then you're a racist and a herpetophobe. <laughs> it goes without saying that this is a satire. I mean, nobody would actually want to ban a Star Spangled Banner for the reasons I just described. Oh. My. God. I've got to give you social justice warriors some credit. You make yourselves really hard to parody.